What's up, comic book peeps? Detroit Madman here. Just enjoying a cold drink. And uh, taking a look at uh, some of the stuff I picked up today. Uh, I'm going to try this comic called A Little Different. Uh, I'm doing uh, a little bit of handheld today, so bear with me. Uh, it's been a good day. I uh, also got to meet Neil Adams again today. And I'd mentioned before, I've met him on several occasions, but uh, I had Neil sign some stuff for me today. He signed this um, Action Comics issue 419 for me. I showed this in a video before, but uh, he signed that. And then I had him sign uh, my Treasury Edition that I picked up last week, uh, the Batman Treasury Edition. So I'm going to get this framed. And then I also picked up this uh, print he was selling. It's issue 251 of Batman. It's the Joker cover. Awesome print. And uh, he signed that for me. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but for today's books, uh, I still have the Silver Age haul I'm trying to get to from this past weekend. Uh, the Marvel stuff. But I also forgot that I had a whole ton of um, like 50 cent books as well as books I picked up today. So... Uh, let's take a look. Uh, picked up this Black Canary issue one. Uh, I don't know much about it, but it was a week that I had nothing in my saver. And I saw this on the shelf, uh, so I picked it up. And that's uh, DC Comics Black Canary. Uh, I think it's like a spinoff of, I don't know, Catwoman maybe? thought I heard somebody on a podcast say that. Next up, I uh, picked up Runaways. Issue number one, and this is a Battle World Secret Wars um, tie-in book. I actually looked inside of this, and if I would have looked inside of this before I bought it, I probably wouldn't have got it. I'm not a fan of the art in that, so. But it's mine now. I did look inside of this book here, and this is uh, Constantine the Hellblazer number one, another DC Comics number one. Uh, I think it's out this week, or maybe last week. I, if I, if it was out last week, I didn't notice it. But art in this book, I really liked. Uh, leafed through it quickly, uh, decided to pick it up. So I got that one. And then uh, I saw this book here in a lot of videos this past week. A lot of haul videos. And I did see it, uh, I believe, last week. And that's Starfire, issue number one. So, kind of cool cover art. I, I glossed over it last week, I, I believe. I had a huge haul last week, so... With no books uh, this week that I had pulled, I was like, okay, I, I'm just going to get it. Well, uh, that is another DC number one at the uh, two ninety nine price range. And then uh, I picked up issue number three of Hit 57. And this series is okay so far. I read the first two issues. Um, I think it's a four-part series, so might as well finish it out. It didn't blow me away, uh, but I do like the art inside, and um, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. Now, uh, these next few books I picked up in an eBay haul uh, this past week, and I, I got the whole stack for like, I don't know, a couple of bucks. And uh, so first up is, it's these are all reprints, by the way. This one is a Doctor Strange reprint, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Next up is a Avengers 87 reprint. And then uh, got the Captain America 109 reprint. Now these, I don't know much about. I think they were handed out free at a computer store or something, maybe in the mid-2000s. But I got like 12 issues of Spider-Man um, reprint. And I love the reprint stuff when it's done well, but these were definitely not done well. The paper quality on these books is horrible. Uh, the guy that shipped these to me literally did not put them in anything. Like one Ziploc bag, all the comics were stuck together. And then um, he put them inside of an envelope with no protection whatsoever. They, they were literally flopped around and folded, but they're only 10-page comics, so they didn't get too badly damaged uh, for, for what I was worried about when I saw the, um, the packaging. was just unbelievable. But unfortunately, there's only... Like I said, they're 10-page comics, so like each comic has half of a story. So without the full run, you're not going to you know, have a, a story that, that reads uh, together. But I like the comic. A, a lot of the covers are, are just the reprint covers, so that's cool. I like that stuff. And um, so uh, that cost me, I think, like five or six bucks shipped for 
all those comics, so not too bad. And then uh, these pickups here, I got these for a buck each uh, at, at the sale, comic shop sale. Uh, awesome. These are, are freaking amazing reprint issues. Um, this is a DC Comics Millennium Edition of Action Comics number one. Uh, these are among the best reprint comics I've ever seen. Loaded with stuff in there. This this thing is a, a thick book. I, I'd highly suggest if you see this cheap to pick it up. I got these for a buck each. Um, Millennium Edition uh, of uh, Tech number 27. And um, this one actually has a little tear down at the bottom, which, um, I mean, obviously doesn't affect a reprint price, I would imagine. But um, awesome, awesome comic. Loved looking through this. The paper inside is, is truly amazing. And then uh, picked this up. I think it's the first Supergirl. It's um, Action 252. So that was cool. Uh, got that one for a buck. And then uh, all these I got for 50 cents. Uh, this is Spectre number one. And uh, some of these I, I might even already have. But uh, I couldn't pass it. The sale was amazing. The Venom number one. It's got like a uh, shiny cover. Picked up uh, some more Wolverine books. It's just awesome. Awesome cover. Uh, I don't know much about this. It's called XX Zombies. Or XX Zombies. Uh, they had two issues of that. The cover is pretty cool, so I picked those up. These were done by Image, I guess. I'm not 100% sure what year. I don't know if it says it on there. But pretty cool artwork. I didn't check out, out the inside yet. And uh, this is pretty cool right here. What a cover. Uh, this one is actually a variant. So I thought that was pretty cool. I uh, got that one for a buck. And then um, I found this variant cover. Uh, this one I paid a dollar for. It's called uh, Wolverine Origins Number 1. So that's uh, pretty cool. And then I um, found this Spider-Man. I guess that's Mary Jane. Not 100% sure about anything to do with this book. Pretty cool artwork. Found uh, Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Picked up a Untold Tales of Spider-Man number one. I guess the other one was issue minus one. And then... Uh, I got these uh, for 50 cents each, and I got a stack of these, and I, I was going to show you an example of some of the stuff I like to pick up that's off the beaten path here for uh, obviously nothing to do with investing in comics or anything like this, but for reader copies, this is the first uh, appearance of Gladiator, and uh, it's Daredevil number 18. And when you can pick stuff up like this that reads well, Obviously, it's got damage all over the cover, and um, it has a stain on the cover that really darkens areas of the cover from uh, around the top and everything, but how cool is that? Gladiator, I, I, I shit when I saw this in there, I'm like, what? Under a buck? So, Gladiator, um, first appearance, and then I uh, got this one for 50 cents, and... Um, this is the power of him. Uh, I forget the significance of this, but the cocoon thing is like a first appearance of somebody or whatever. And um, it's Fantastic Four, issue number 67, under a buck. Um, has cover damage and is missing uh, a little bit of the paint or print color. But uh, inside, perfectly intact. A little crunchy, but uh, perfectly intact. And then... Uh, Another one I got for 50 cents is this Avengers number 88, uh, chewed up. It actually had like a dirty cover. It felt real dusty on the cover, and I wiped it down with a paper towel. Uh, somebody dipped it in ink there in the corner. But, hey, reader copy, 50 cents, having fun. And then picked up this Thor. Uh, this is uh, 12 Center. It's issue number 130. And um, it's a really, a really good-looking book. But, but somebody decided to, you know, color in the letters, obviously. But other than that, man, this book right here, I love the artwork in this book. This is um, Kirby at his best. You know, Thor grew on me. Uh, when I got back into comics, 
and I started picking up some Silver Age Thor. Um, man, it just the artwork is amazing, the action, and um, you know, look at the artwork in this. Kirby's just amazing. Yeah, Hercules down there. Love the action. Amazing panels. Doesn't get any better than this, guys. Not bad, not bad for a buck. Hey, it's a filler, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, and I know, uh, I saw ETA Nick leave uh, a comment on yesterday's video about can't wait to see what the defect is in the Sur Silver Surfer number one. Well, uh, I got this for four bucks, and uh, it, it wasn't miss. Um, it wasn't meant to lead me down the wrong path or anything. It is a Silver Surfer number one, completely unintact, with a facsimile cover. It has a Xerox cover on it. So what I have here is a Silver Surfer number one in really nice shape, missing the cover. And uh, but I had to get it. I literally couldn't wait to get home. H how could you be so excited about a four dollar book? Fact is, I owned this book in uh, eighteen or nineteen years ago. I had a whole run of Silver Surfer. Um, all the way from number one to 30 or 35. My number one was in great condition. Uh, I wasn't into comics. Uh, I was into collecting other stuff at the time. And uh, I turned uh, my whole Silver Surfer run into another uh, collection that of stuff I collected, and uh, which was sports and magic cards. And that's what I wanted to do at the time. And I kicked myself for it ever since. And now I have a Silver Surfer number one, and it cost me four bucks. And when I look through this book, I'm not a Silver Surfer guy. Like, like the story is okay to me. Um, but the artwork of Silver Surfer and some of the stuff that Kirby did with it and the panels that he drew, uh, I've always been attracted to. I just love the, the those big action galactic flying around. When, he, when Silver Surfer would go flying through uh, the cosmos and then go through cities and stuff. I loved it. And look at the look at the uh, panels in here. Uh, how bright they are and and how how colorful they are for for uh, you know the Kirby art. Look at the um, look at the machines in here and the, the the facial expressions. It's just so classic. So I'm, I'm stoked. I mean, this is a, a four dollar treat for me. Um, look at that Galactus. And there's three or four. Really amazing full panel um, pages in this comic by itself. Just like some of the best stuff you've ever seen. Great. Uh, I love these pages. I read them all. And look at the Watcher. This is the, the second story in, in issue one. It's a, it's a real thick, double, triple-sized issue. So... That ETA Nick is my four dollar Silver Surfer number one. Now, eventually, if uh, at the rate things are going for me and the fun I'm having collecting this stuff, I'll I'll have an upgrade at some point to this. I I definitely want to get number ones of all the the main uh, Marvel books, and I see it in my future. But in the meantime, I can leap through and read my Silver Surfer number one with no problem. All right, next up, one dollar. Captain America. Look at this book, guys. This is a uh, this is fun stuff for me. If I could find every Silver Age Marvel tomorrow in in a condition like this at a price like this, I I trust me, I'd buy every single one. So this has a banged up corner. Outside of that, really cool condition. Inside, completely fun. Um, lots of action in this one. Uh, love it. That's a uh, Captain America 127. Next up, four dollars. Got it for $2, half price sale. Captain America and the Falcon, issue number 141. I love this cover. If you can see the action on this cover. But, uh, I've said in videos before, uh, there's some covers that they did, that Marvel did, where it's got, like, m machines that 
you know, like false, in this case here, it's got a, a, a mountain with false walls opening up, uh, guns blazing, you know, machines flying out of the sky, action going on. I used to always draw stuff like this when I was a kid. I'd always start with a mountain and then I would, uh, draw machines and guns coming out of it and then I'd have superheroes flying in and, and destroying the, uh, bad guys and this, this cover right here took me back to that and I got it for two bucks and I was stoked about that. De decent condition. Another great pickup that day. So that leads me to this beautiful Iron Man book I picked up. I got this for $5. It was marked uh, $9.90, and I got it for half price. Um, I just love the color on this. It's uh, it's really deep tones. And that's uh, Iron Man number 22. And uh, when I watch this video back, guys, th I don't know if this handheld stuff is, uh, is any good, what I'm doing today, but I wanted to get a little bit intimate with these Marvel books. And... Uh, so I thought I'd try it out. I'll probably just do it this uh, video, and I'll watch it back and see how it is, and then we'll go back to the tripod, guys, if, it, if it's annoying. All right, next up, I picked up Iron Man number 23, and uh, all these books I'm going to show you here are, are all going to be under 10 bucks that I paid for them. Um, this is issue number 23, The Man Who Killed Tony Stark. Awesome cover. Love this book. Starting to get a nice little Iron Man run going. Everything's falling into place. Uh... Been doing some good on Daredevil, been doing amazing on Spider-Man, uh, no pun intended. And, um, man, some of these other books are, are falling into place for me. So, uh, this one here is uh, Iron Man number 24. Another cool cover, it's the Minotaur. Got some, um, some action on there, suspense, what's going on. Love that cover, guys. Next up, uh, we've got Iron Man issue number 27, another crazy action cover. And this is uh, introducing the Firebrand. Not familiar with this uh, villain. But a uh, cool cover nonetheless. Can't wait to read some of these Iron Man books. Alright guys, next up, check this out. Issue number 38. Invincible Iron Man. Still rolling with Iron Man. I found a lot of good deals on these books. Love the artwork. Can't wait to read the stories. Next up, Iron Man number 90. This is for a couple bucks, guys. They're the damsel in distress. You know I love the dames. Good stuff. Tales to Astonish, issue number 88. Phenomenal cover. I love this cover. I'm like a so-so Submariner guy. I'd rather have a lot more, I don't know, I'd rather have different characters than Submariner, um, but this is a cool cover. Definitely worth uh, what I paid for it. I mean, I have less than five dollars into this book. Simply amazing. I was so happy to get this one. This is Tales of Suspense, number 67. I love this cover. Got that 3D view. Look at the punch coming. Look at the staff. And then look at Iron Man. I love that. These old Iron Man covers. Just love them. Then it has a little bit of uh, cap at the bottom. Stoked about that. And then check this out, guys. Tales of Suspense, number 99. Iron Man and Captain America. Can't beat that cover. At the mercy of the Magia. Or the Magia. Or something like that. Good stuff. So, next up here, I've got Amazing Spider-Man number 61 and Amazing Spider-Man number 61. And I've got Amazing Spider-Man number 59. Couldn't pass up the deal. Um, I'm picking up the Spider-Mans, and when I find the sales, I'm, I'm just grabbing them. Um... It's amazing to me how in, uh, how things have fallen into place with my Amazing Spider-Man collection. I've uh, found a lot of books I love. I haven't had to do eBay, but, but, except for a few books that I just went out and got excited about right away. And then um, I've banged out maybe like 25 or 30 
Silver Age Spider-Mans in the last couple months. I'm completely stoked about it. And then, uh, look at this. I've been wanting to get this one. Amazing Spider-Man number 62. Five bucks, guys. I can't even believe it. I've lost bids on books that looked this good on eBay for triple, quadruple that. And even more. I mean, look at that. So cool. But what else am I going to get excited about? I got it. The Madness of Mysterio. One of my favorite covers of all time. Issue number 66. Four bucks, guys. Come on. you got to love that. I love the price. I love the book. Everything's... It's got a little bit of uh, water damage on the cover there. But what a great reader. I mean, unbelievable. A high, fun um, book and great, great filler for, uh, for the Spidey run. Next up, Daredevil number 37. Dr. Doom cover. Check this out, guys. That's so awesome. What do I got? Daredevil number 25. The Leapfrog. Check that out. Next up, Thor 163. Some more Thor books. Where Dwell the Demons. Love this cover. Thor 185. Look at that. Next up, Thor number 160. Another great cover. Look at the Galactus. Having fun, guys. Next up, Hulk 133. Really cool book. Just an awesome looking comic. Again, love these um, action scenes. and I may even have had a copy of this before. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure, but it was two bucks. And I wasn't going to pass it up. Alright, next up. This is one of my favorite books. So when I was a kid, um, I'll give you a short story here. I know it's getting a super long video, but Annihilus scared the shit out of me. Um, there is a comic, and I have it over here somewhere. This book right here is a comic from my collection uh, when I was a kid. And when I picked this book up, I dug through my um, comics from when I was a kid because I knew this was the character that scared the shit out of me. And this book right here, um, I got when I was probably five or six years old. And um, the uh, fight that they have with Annihilus in this book is so memorable to me. Um, and, and the whole mission they were on. And just this, this book, whatever it was about this specific Fantastic Four book, left such a, a lasting impression on me. Um, it just... I highly suggest picking this up. Um... At some point, I'm going to upgrade this book, but, man, you you got to find this uh, comic. It is Giant Size Fantastic Four, number six. Trust me, you will love it. It's probably not a pricey book at all, but you will love this book. It was one of my favorite comics when I was a kid. But uh, back to this one. Got to love that, man. This is one of my favorite books I got that day. And then uh, next up, picked up that Fantastic Four, number 87. I love the blue cover on this. It looks so cool. Five bucks. Next up, four dollar book. Avengers number 90. Look at this. The color on this book is awesome. Um, check that out. You know, you got Wasp. I, I love uh, Quicksilver, Vision, Scarlet Witch, and there's some guy with a club. And, it's funny because this is the second comic I have now where a guy with a wooden club is fighting the Avengers on the cover. It's crazy. Mightiest heroes on Earth. Alright, next up, guys. Have to go back to Iron Man one more time. Check it out. Iron Man number 17. The beginning of the end. Look at this cover. Tony Stark. Iron Man, what's going on here? I can't wait to read that one. She's number 17. And then here we go. Uh, five bucks. Avengers number 37. It's got a massive, uh, soft spine. Kind of raggedy there, but everything else in this comic, super intact. 
Good to go. I read this already. It's okay. It's okay. I wanted to love it a lot more, but it, hey, it's Avengers number 37, and um, it's one step closer to putting crazy Avengers run. Hey, what's going on, guys? Check it out. Did I do good? Is this a fun haul or what? What do you think? Good stuff. You like my, uh, do you like my Silver Surfer coverless Xerox issue? Is that a good deal for four bucks? I thought it was. All right, guys, I'm out. It's a long video. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Hit me with the thumbs up. Peace.